Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I am now a glasses wearer. Yay! Literally, when I was at school, I secretly, because like I don't want to admit it to anybody, but I was secretly jealous of every single kid who got to wear glasses. So I've done this video to show some tips and tricks on how to keep your makeup to last longer when you wear glasses and just kind of give you some little pointers that I have found along the way with wearing glasses that have helped my makeup game. So I've got all of my special from glassesusa.com which are an online glass company and they do over like 2,500 I think styles of glasses which is insane so you can get like in-house brands as well as high-end brands like Tom Ford, Armani, Ray-Ban and they've got such a wide variety of glass shapes you can get like the cat eyes you can get these squarish ones you can also get like aviators you can just get so many different variety of glasses they really have it's like a massive shopping mall online for glasses and I'm the type of person I hate shopping in person I literally loathe it I am in shops within one minute and out by the second like I can't deal so I am an online shopper and this is perfect for someone like me because I can just skip through they also have this really cool little thing I want to call it a thing I don't really know what to call it but it's almost like a photo booth so you put a photo up of your face and you can try on every single pair of glasses to make sure that it suits your face before purchasing I just want to touch on the price point you guys know me I love a good bar Bargain. I'm all for a bargain. So $48 for a lens and the frame starting rate is just insane. So I am all for that. Also, I've got you a very special offer. There's a bargain within a bargain. I'll leave it all the links and I'll leave the kind of code and more of a description of it down below in my description box. I also want to touch on the lens quality because a lot of people always think for a bargain you're going to get less of a good quality, which in your head makes sense but actually is really untrue. So these glasses are made by professional opticians and they will make the glass and the, they'll make the lenses to your eyesight need. Whether it's single vision, bifocal, progressive lenses, anything you need, thin, thick, whatever it is, they will do it for you. You also get a risk-free shopping experience which means if you purchase the glasses and you receive them and you don't like them whatever no questions asked you can just send them back within 14 days you will have a full refund and it is a money back guarantee and they also ship worldwide so they are in the USA and I'm in the UK and I got them to ship here Voila! So you can check out glassesusa.com and I'll leave the link down below and I'll pop all of the different kind of frames that I have got and the price points and stuff will all be linked below so go check them out, you will not regret it and go try on some glasses because that photo booth thing is fun as hell. So let's get on with each style of frame of glasses before we get into the tutorial. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's very easy, all you've got to do is click the red button below and if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of my uploads just press the little bell dingling button down below and I'll just give you a notification every single time I upload not annoying so these are my favorite pair of glasses that I got these are in the style Sam and I literally dig these glasses these are my favorite ones I wore them all weekend in London and I got so many compliments on them and I just think they really suit my face then these are my second favorite pair that I literally love and I can't stop wearing and these are the aviator style frames and they are called, oh God, it, they're called Florence and I literally love them. I am obsessed. I just love chucking this on with like a really cool outfit. I just feel really super chic. So yeah, I just love them. I think they're bomb.com. Now these are the next pair of glasses that I got and these make me feel very secretary. And these ones are called Academy, and the bits that I really love on them is these little silver kind of detail bits here. It could be the new Donna. I mean, Harvey Specter, eat your heart out. And these are also one of my favourite pairs, but these are the ones I like to call a little bit geeky cheeky. I just love them. I think they're so cool. They're just a little bit different, a little bit kind of, you know, like a granddad glasses. But I love them. So these are called Brutus and they're in the colour Gun Metal. I will show you guys up close and personal. They're just so freaking cool, aren't they? And then this style of glasses is very similar to this pair. It's more of a wider, I would say like lens. It's more like rectangle, but it's a kind of thinner frame. So these ones are called, so this one is called Port and I also got black. Um, you guys know that I love a black frame. So they just sit nicely on my nose. 
and they just look very nice, I love them. And then the last pair I got are actually sunglasses and I went a bit cray cray and got the Ray-Ban glasses. So they've got like a copper frame which I love, they're very chic and unique and just like not the normal style aviator kind of sunglasses, I feel like they're so much nicer. And even the colour blend of the lens is like a faded colour which I love. I'm in my pyjamas, I've got my cup of tea and I'm still not very well. Oh, there's a hair. <laughs> Anyone else like shed like no other? Honestly, whenever I have a, look, whenever I have a shower or anything, I have to put it out of the drain pipes, you know. Also, before I tie it up, <laughs> I've gone darker. Do you like? So before I get into all the tips and tricks that I like to do, I'm gonna show you two. I don't know why I should two, <laughs> two um, eye looks for glasses because glasses can do two things they can either make your eyes look bigger so I think the magnified glasses are for people who are is it long sighted and then the normal glasses or glasses that can tend to make your eyes look a little bit smaller are for people with short that are short sighted so I'm going to do two different looks I'm going to do like a softer more kind of um, opening up the eye makeup look and then I'll do a more like smoky look that's kind of more for me. It depends on your personality, it depends on your makeup preference, it depends on all these different things, but I'm just going to show you what I would personally do for two different scenarios. So the first thing that I would always do when I'm wearing my glasses, especially the magnified ones, is to make sure that underneath your brows is all tidy, because if you've got some stray hairs, I'll zoom in a minute actually. So if you've got some stray hairs here, they will be mag magnified and especially when you put um, so like primer, like I use soft ochre paint pot on top of them, then they just look kind of like white, thick, long hairs. You know what I'm saying? I personally don't like stray hairs under here like on my eyelids. So I will pluck these out to make it look clean and tidy so when the glasses do magnify it, it's going to look, you know, So the next tip that I would suggest is to find the right makeup look to suit you, so your personality and also your glasses. So like I said before with the whole magnifying thing, um, I personally have quite large eyes, so when I put on glasses that magnify my eyes, I feel like I kind of look like a cartoon character or just a little bit strange little bit demented, you know? I just look cray cray. I need a makeup look to make them look a little bit smaller and more like defined. Um, and it kind of goes the other way as well. If you've got smaller eyes and they magnify, if you want them to see even bigger, you can make them look bigger. So I mean, it's totally your preference. I know it's kind of common sense um, and you guys will probably say, I already know this, but I just want to put it out there that it does make a massive difference when you think, um, about your glasses and your eye shape kind of together. So the palette that I'm going to be using today is this new one from Tarte and it is called the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette and they also sent me some Spanx with this package. What are you trying to say Tarte? Huh? Huh? What are you trying to say? Let's start with the more neutral um, opening up, making your eyes look bigger I should look. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids like I would normally. Don't you hate scratching a brand new eyeshadow palette right in the eyeshadow pan. I've just ruined it. Look at that scratch. Oh my god, I've done it again. I've had this eyeshadow palette for what? Two minutes? Right, so for my eyeshadow primer, I'm going to be taking the NARS Medium One Custard. This is the actual little pot and it reminds me of soft ochre. This is why I'm trying it, okay? I haven't tried it as a primer yet, but we're just going to go for it because I'm going to use this as my concealer today. So I'm just going to, oh, it's nice. I'm just going to buff it on with my concealer 142 Zoeva Buffer Brush. To make sure that's all set in place, I'm just going to powder that using the Solstice colour from the palette and a little bit of sand. And I'm taking that on my Morphe M511 brush and I'm just going to pop this all on top. Oh, it smells so good. Ooh. That's <laughs> like when you get these creepy guys in the club and they come too close to you. I mean, like, it's probably because your makeup smells so good. Next, I'm going to be taking Journey, which is the colour I destroyed. So when you're making your eye look bigger, you want to focus this on the outer corner. You want all the colour and all the darkness to be on the outer corner and then you want lightness in the centre and over the lid. 
um, because you're wearing like magnified glasses or any glasses in general, it's just going to create more attention to your eyes. You know, someone's going to look at your eyes even more closely than they would if you weren't wearing glasses because it just creates some attention to the, that area. So you just want to make sure that everything's blended really nicely, really seamlessly, there's no harsh harshness to it because people will pick up on it way quicker than if you weren't wearing glasses. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit of the colour stone and popping that on the outer corner with my 227 brush from Zoeva and I'm just going to apply this just on the outer corner again and then just to add a little bit more of a darkness to the outer corner I'm going to be taking smoke on my little Fruline fluffy brush and just applying it on the lash line just on the outer corner. This is going to open up the eye even more. Can you see already how much of a difference it makes to my eye shape and keeping it open and big compared to that one? It just, just makes a teeniest little difference and it's the little things in life that make the biggest difference. So I'm just going to be taking my buxom eyeliner and I'm just going to run this on the outer corner of my eye. And then I always like to smudge out and smoke out um, coal liner or crayon liner and I'm just going to take a little bit of onyx which is that black eyeshadow from the palette and put it on my Morphe 508 brush and just smudge it in. So the next hack that I have for you is one of the most common um, kind of complaints I hear about of people that wear glasses. So I kind of deal with this issue quite a lot and I found the best thing to do is to cover your eyelashes even when wearing just mascara. It really does make a difference, especially if you've got really naturally long eyelashes. I unfortunately don't. So curling my lashes doesn't really make a massive deal or, or a difference for me. But I personally like to curl my falsies. If you're just going to wear mascara, um, then I would definitely curl your eyelashes and I kind of just clamp it down and then kind of so I kind of clamp it on and off and then I let go and my eyelashes are nice and pointing upward um, and this is when I would apply my mascara I mean it's personal preference it's entirely up to you but I personally like um, my eyelashes to be separated and less clumpy because if they're clumpy and you're wearing magnified um, glasses then people are going to notice that they're going to see the clumps and stuff so I prefer more of like a spiky mascara and I'm going to be using my roller lash by Benefit so I'm going to be taking my Ardell Demi Wispy eyelashes these are one of my favorite natural looking lashes so all I like to do is hold the lash in the tweezers just right in the middle and then I just get my curlers and I slot slot my eyelash through the curlers, pull it back a little bit and then I just clamp down and curl them. See now they're stuck up? You stuck up eyelashes. <laughs> and because they're stuck up, again it'll make the eyes look bigger and then it won't annoy you by getting stuck on the glass of the glasses and just kind of like pointing down. Honestly, I've been there, I understand the pain. This works with dramatic eyelashes as well. This is just a cool little trick that I like to use and it really does work. So another trick that I like to do is I like to use a magnified mirror. Um, this is just to spot check my eye makeup because this is pretty much what people are going to see when they see your eyes through glasses because everything's bigger. So here I can see a little bit of unblended eyeshadow so I need to go back in and blend that out. So magnified mirrors are your best friends. So then on to the face makeup before we come back to the eyes. So for my primer today I'm going to be using something that's quite like oil absorbing, matte, not very shimmery, shiny, not going to give me any moisture because you don't want any of the foundation to stick on your glasses. So you want everything to be pretty matte. So I'm going to be using my Professional Primer by Benefit and I'm going to rub this on to the center of my face and anywhere that the glasses may touch, especially on my nose. Now, for foundation, I think a lot of you guys who wear glasses can vote with me. Um, but the most annoying thing is definitely the imprints um, that you get on the side of your nose. 
the redness, the fact that the foundation comes off in those areas, that is probably one of my most annoying things. And what I think works really well is actually not using a very thick foundation. But keep that area very light, because if you think about it, if it's a light foundation, and if the glasses are touching the light foundation, there's not a lot for it to come off. But when you've got like a thick layer of that foundation and powder and things, and it starts to rub off, you're gonna see that kind of like indent more than you would do a light coverage foundation. I'm gonna be taking, the foundation that I've been loving wearing when I wear my glasses is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation for normal to oily skin. Again, it's matte foundation, um, which is gonna help to keep the foundation in place. And I've been preferring using a brush to apply my foundation when I'm using my glasses because I feel like it really buffs into the skin and acts like second skin rather than a sponge adds more of like a thick, I feel like a thick coverage because it just sits on top of the skin. So I'll really make sure that I really work this into my nose and I won't apply loads and loads of layers. I've just popped one on and this is when I'll start really buffing it in. So now I feel like that's a pretty good base, it's quite light, it's okay coverage at the moment because I haven't built it up that much, um, but now I'm going to go in with my sponge and the same foundation and I'm just going to go on the areas that I want a little bit more coverage, um, excluding the nose though, I don't want to put any more on my nose area and I'll maybe put like the tiniest bit on the tip, but I feel like I want extra coverage but nothing in this kind of section of the nose. So you still get that flawless complexion, but without the thickness of the foundation on the nose area. So the next, I like to do a little trick with concealers. I like a light reflecting concealer underneath my eyes and in some of the areas that my glasses create a shadow. So I like to pop on my glasses and see where I get some shadows. So I normally get some darkness here, underneath the rim of the glasses, and then I also get darkness in the center here from where my glasses are sitting on my nose and the bridge. So for the light reflective um, concealer, I personally like using the Eva Saint Laurent Touche Claire. I know Clinique do one, this hair is really annoying. I know Clinique do one and Barry M do a pretty good drugstore version too. And then I'm going to be taking my Medium 1 Custard Soft Matte Complete Concealer by NARS. So I prefer mixing these two together and kind of creating my own little combination of the two. Pop down a little bit of Touche Claire right in the centre of my eyes here, here, under there. And then remember I've got a shadow here and here from my glasses. I also prefer buffing this in with a buffer brush. This one is from Le Page Trends. This is just going to keep that product in those specific areas. Pop on the NARS concealer directly on top. And I try and kind of skip the side of my nose. I'll only take it up to about here. Again, I don't want loads of product in that area. And then just taking my sponge and I'm just going to blend that all in. So ever since wearing glasses, I've preferred a softer brow. You want a brow that's very groomed and just kind of, it frames your face. So if you think your glasses are also a frame as well, there's also going to frame your face. You don't want them to compete. If you've got a really thick or black frame for your glasses, you don't want like really big, black, thick eyebrows because they kind of look the same. And it might just end up looking like one big, thick, black brow. So for my brows, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. No, no I'm not. Soft Brown. Medium Brown's the normal, the normal lingo that I use when it comes to brows, but I'm using my Soft Brown colour. Which actually does make a massive difference. I didn't think there was going to be much difference in it, but there really is, and I prefer it. I so prefer it. So I'm just going to draw my brows like I normally would. And keep them nice and clean. 
And then all you want to do, pretty much this is kind of the end of the tips and then I'll finish off the rest of my makeup. So then for powder, you only want to lightly powder around the nose and the areas that your glasses are touching your face. This is one because again, like the thicker the um, product is on the skin, the more indentation you're gonna make. And then also when I use a light powder, if I do get a little bit of redness, I can go in with like a sponge or a little brush and I can just dab onto the red marks whereas if I'm wearing a lot of powder you can't really do that because then you'll start to be cake face and that's not cute. I'm going to be taking my Lock It In powder um, in petal and I'm only going to be taking a tiny bit of this powder and popping it on and then a little dab of it on my nose. So again dipping into the Tarte palette I'm going to be taking the first shade which is called Journey. And I'm going to run that all on my lower lash line. And I like to do it kind of quite thick. Um, again, because it opens up the eye and makes it look bigger. But it also kind of hides any creasing that you have on your lower lash line. It just hides it. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Ember. And this is just a little bit darker. And I'm only going to apply this on the outer corner of the eye. And I'm going to use the same mascara on the lower lash line as I did on the top. I'm just going to finish off the face makeup and then I'm going to go and show you the look that I would normally do for my eye shape. So this is pretty much the eyeshadow look and the look that I would go for if I was making my eyes look bigger underneath glasses. Um, this is more natural look. I would pop on some lashes if I was doing this look properly. But now I'm going to show you what I would normally do kind of to make my eyes look a little bit smaller so they're not so kind of big. And then I'm going to take the shade Stone again and pop it on top. And can you see how ready it's made such a difference? This eye looks very big and rounded and this eye looks very kind of just more defined. And then all I'm going to do is take some brown eyeliner. This one's from NYX. And it's called Burnt Sienna. And I'm going to pop this all the way in from the inner corner to the outer corner. And then I like to take that brown eyeliner and just run it on the waterline just in the inner corner. And I just prefer the closed off, more defined eye when I wear my glasses. See? So it's just about personal preference and it's about creating that kind of different style to suit your eye shape. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, you guys know what you need to do. You need to comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed it. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you learned any tricks or tips or hacks to do with keeping your makeup on whilst wearing glasses. And I'll leave the link to every single pair of glasses that I showed you today in the description box below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you did enjoy it. You know where to find me on all other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. It's all Amy's Makeup Box. I made it really nice and easy for you guys to find me. I'm sure you know that line now off by heart. <laughs> so until next time, I will see you soon.